a scuba diving legend has sadly died. Thomas Andy Phillips was scuba diving in Canada's St. Lawrence River where he failed to resurface on the 11th of June. After a series of searches by police and fire services, the US Customs and Border Protection, the Canadian Coast Guard and a Joint Rescue Coordination Centre helicopter, he was declared missing six days later on the 17th. His body has since been found on the 22nd, around 100 kilometers downstream from where he started his dive, and the body was found just outside the Royal Canadian Air Force boat launch. Phillips was a Paddy Platinum course director and a true poster boy for Paddy. If there was a qualification for it, Andy was qualified to teach it. As a technical instructor trainer, he dived and instructed Trimex, Rebreather, as well as being a Dan or D-A-N instructor trainer. It's no surprise that, you know, he was well loved in the international diving community because if he wasn't your instructor, then chances that he actually may have taught your instructor. So for 20 years, Andy developed and fostered both the diving community and industry on a tiny island of Utila, I would say, yeah. just off Honduras, and by extension, most of Central America. Yeah, so Andy started his diving career way back in 1990, and then seven years later, he finally went pro and became a dive master. Five years after that, Andy was a course director wow. and still learning all the different angles and courses about scuba diving around Central America, Costa Rica, and Egypt. He traveled throughout Southeast Asia, South Africa, Australia, Micronesia, South America, Central America, the Caribbean, and the Red Sea, wow. everywhere, all over the place. Uh, Egypt is where his love for technical diving started, and he actually discovered and named an epic dive site Neptune's Throne at Isla Espiritu Santo in Mexico, which starts at around 50 me uh, 55 meters down and then drops down all the way down past 100 meters. And actually fellow course director and close friend Luke Inman has named the very top of this site Andy's Pinnacle in his memory. The Instructor Development Center said of Andy, tens of thousands of students, countless professional designations and accolades and the carcasses of many lionfish as well, Andy was an unsurpassed ambassador and icon for an industry he helped pioneer. On top of teaching thousands of students, Andy was also a keen advocate for the environment, battling the lionfish epidemic in the Caribbean. The Instructor Development Center went on to say that Andy's loss is immeasurable, is an immeasurable impact to the community, the conservation and the preservation of marine environment, and notably the development of professional scuba divers throughout the world. Uh, they say that Andy was a thoughtful dive buddy, meaningful mentor, and, and a best friend. So, you know, to many, they're gonna miss him dearly, yeah. sadly. Yeah. So Andy once said, my job is to encourage as many divers as possible to live the life of a dive professional and explore, conserve, and enjoy this beautiful planet, both above and below the surface, at recreational and technical levels. Our thoughts are, of course, with the Phillips family and everybody that knew him at this time. 